Welcome to Postscript. Here we hope to answer your questions and help you dig deeper into the messages and sermons at FaithBridge by talking with the teacher of the day. Well, hello and welcome to Postscript. My name is Adam McIntyre, and I am joined by Pastor Dan Slagle, who just finished up our series called Rise Above. Pastor Dan, thank you so much for being here with us sure, today. Glad we to. had a few questions uh, come in, and so I'm just going to jump right in. Uh, the first question was in reference to Second or First Peter 2.12, mm -hmm. um, and they want to know how is it that when we are doing our good deeds, mm -hmm. um, that we make sure that it's mm -hmm. God that gets the glory and honor for it and that people don't praise us or honor us for doing those good deeds. And then they also want to know uh, what was the day that Peter was referring to in that verse? Okay. Well, how does God get the glory? Um, let me uh, <clears throat> first suggest some ways to not go about that. <laughs> I don't think it would be helpful to overtly point out that the only reason I'm doing this good thing is for God sure. or, or to draw that straight line every time. Right. But neither would I run away from uh, a softball that comes my way to right. easily connect it with God. I think the most effective way is simply to be uh, genuinely good, uh, authentically kind, whatever the situation calls for. That has a curiosity all its own. Uh, and over time, eventually, someone's going to ask, right. why are you the way you are? What is right. it that's different about you? And when that window is open, then step right through it and give God the glory. Absolutely. Yeah, people should see the humanity that the church offers and, uh, and the goodness. Just the, very, the church's very existence should be a... A witness. A sign, yeah, exactly. Yeah. A witness yeah. to the reason why we're here. Exactly. Ab absolutely. And the day that Peter was referring to in that verse. Uh, right. Um, the day. That, that is a common phrase in Scripture uh, that refers to the day of the Lord's return. Right. Uh, scripture is clear that at some point in time, Jesus will return bodily to earth. Don't know when that is, right. uh, but uh, that, that's the day that Peter is referring to. Right, and even Peter, they were thinking it could be tomorrow. Yes. They had no idea, and 2,000 years later, it still Here could be tomorrow. Are. Yeah, yep. you never know. Uh, and then uh, our next question came from one of our small group leaders, actually, mm -hmm. and they were wondering, uh, they had taken a, like a leadership test a, or a spiritual gifts discernment test, okay. trying to discern uh, everybody's gifts within the group, and some people within the group, they... Uh, they scored low on missions. And okay. so they were convinced that maybe mission trips just aren't for me. Maybe, maybe that's for other Christians, but maybe not for me. And so the question is, how can we um, show them mm -hmm. that despite maybe missions being low on their, in their gifts tests, that sure. missions are for everyone. We are all called to go out and be the hands and feet of Jesus. What's a loving way that we can convince them that that's true? Yeah. Well, I, I think um, one thing to point out is that <clears throat> A mission trip is not a spiritual gift. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you won't find that on any spiritual gift inventory. And uh, we need to educate people what exactly goes on mm -hmm. on a given mission trip. Sure. Not all of them are overtly evangelistic. Right. Sure, all of them go with the intention and the hope of an opportunity to share the gospel but some of them are focused on drilling a well, right. and you don't need to be an evangelist to do that. Yeah. Some are focused on building a house, mm -hmm. teaching, medical missions. Uh, there, there's a wide variety of opportunities to serve that require all sorts of giftings. Absolutely. So the trip itself really is not the issue. The issue is the purpose of a given trip. Mm -hmm. And do the gifts that God has given me, which I exercise here, in this part of the world with this body of Christ, do they translate to another part of the world with another part of the body of right. Christ? And I'm going to say 99.9% .9 of the time, yes. <laughs> there yeah. is no spiritual gift that anyone can hide behind and say, uh, sorry, I'm excluded because I don't have that particular gift. Uh, right. Trips are irrespective of Absolutely. gifts. Yeah, our gifts are not meant to be hoarded for right. ourselves. They're meant to be 
shared yeah. uh, with others and hopefully to lead others to, yeah. to Christ. Well, Pastor Dan, thank you so much sure, for being with, here, being with us this morning. And thank you all for tuning in. We will see you all next time. Thanks for joining us for Postscript. Help us keep the podcast interactive by submitting your questions during the morning services. Learn more at faithbridge.org postscript.